got some American coffee in the morning. This is the, the breakfast of the morning. And uh, some fried bacon and fried noodles. And the two sushis. Quite awesome. Let's try it. What do you want to say? Too husky. Cute? Do you love it? Uh, we, are, we are going uh, heading to, to, to the, the, the Grand Buddha Mountain. <laughs> the Grand Buddha Mountain. heading to the Buddhism uh, palace and they have a show inside and uh, I have been here uh, before but this place is renovated over and over again so now it seems like a uh, very different as before so um, uh, I have some kind of like uh, expectation to see different uh, sceneries inside and uh, I don't know too much uh, Buddhism uh, spiritual things, but uh, it seems uh, interesting. Let's see. Just uh, getting through all the, the way down to the main hall of uh, this Buddhism uh, palace. Wow, it's fabulous actually. It's really beautiful. Uh, wow. So you have to come here. Although this is like uh, some kind of like a new uh, decoration, but uh, it is ridiculously beautiful. It is really beautiful actually. You have to look at the the roof of uh, this place. It's it's amazing. This is Lingshan Brahma Palace, one of the scenic spots in Wuxi. The total construction area of this Brahma Palace is 72,000 square meters, with three stories inside the building. The architectural form of this palace is upgraded from the traditional Chinese architecture. It is based on strong and durable materials and it uses a great number of tall columns, large span beams, towering domes and grand halls, which not only reflect the profoundness and the loftiness of Buddhism, but also represents the combination of traditional cultural elements with distinctive characteristics of Buddhism architecture. It also draws the essence of traditional Chinese wooden carving, stone carving, jade carving, and bronze carving or other decorations.
like uh, you got a whole bunch of people. Look at this. It's like uh, almost like uh, squeezing each other. Look at this. And uh, when, when you get this like a uh, tourist tour group, and uh, ah, so, okay. I'm, I'm just looking for a tourist. And uh, also, so the tourist is also full of people, and uh, it's really ridiculous now because, because of the show. And uh, you can see this uh, tourist is uh, full of people now. Who's on Sam's there? In the souvenir store, my wife is going to buy something, and uh, for me, not that interesting. And uh, this is uh, definitely a touristy area, actually. Uh, the building is brand new. The main thing is the show, and uh, the main hall was uh, beautiful. A lot of. Uh, uh, sunshine lights. Not so the point is when when you have everything like everything I mean, I mean literally everything like a fortune fortune health, beauty wealth. girl a lot of uh, <laughs> wives <laughs> no wives just yeah uh, a bunch and, of lovely and, girls <laughs> and uh, thousands of thousands of servants so yeah, fortune. You, yeah, yeah and then these things are like uh, everything have the world yeah everything is worthless right yeah you have the world you have the world the sky is not you have nothing. Yeah. Right? So he decided to find the truth of the world. So he gave up his throne, um, his kingdom. Mm. And, uh, so he gave up everything, yeah. including his kingdom. Yeah. 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 Yeah, so, so you need so he got through all of the difficulties. Heading to the Grand Buddha. Uh, still take this uh, little bus. Uh, it's empty. You don't see even one whole channel. This is the, the Grand Buddha. And uh, what, what we are going to do up there? Uh, we try to touch, touch the Buddha. Touch the toe. Yeah, yeah. The that, that means you, you will have to lucky. Right? Yeah, so I, I'll use my hand to scratch the, the no, Buddha's nail. You can't. No? You can't scratch, you just um, touch it. Okay. Yeah. Just so, just to gently touch the toe of yes. the Buddha yes. for good luck, right? Yeah, mm. and just make your wishes in your heart. Okay. Can we talk to the camera about what we are going to wish? Okay, so we keep, keep it, uh, it in, in your mind. Yeah, so we keep it as a secret. 
<laughs> okay. This Grand Buddha is famous in Jiangnan area with a total height of 88 meters. Many Chinese tourists visiting this landmark for lucky and fortunate wishes. We went there also tried the same thing, although I think it is a little bit fluffy understanding of Buddhism religion. But let's just enjoy the time with friends and family.